find them. But I think we got one. Really deep. Oh yeah, we got a burb. Sweet. Ooh, that hook's barely in them. Cool. All right, I was about ready to give up on this spot and turn around and go back, but they're moving in. So, <clears throat> let's see what we got here. So let's find my pliers. So this, is a 3D goby with a rattle tube, one ounce, and almost like a purple flake, crawdad color. And then this guy is a kind of small burbot, but we won't be putting any back today. Yeah, it's a little guy. But uh, we're here to keep today because we're going to do some poor man's lobster later. So we'll get him on ice. We'll try and grab another one. That was kind of cool. And he's about 78 feet of water in this little goby. What's the company? is Savage Gear, I believe. Yeah, Savage Gear 3D Gobi. Pumpkin, brown pumpkin. I saw a ball of what looked like fish on the bottom. Yeah, it was really weird. It looked like a bush or a ball of fish. We'll see if we can get back up on there. And, uh, give it a whirl. It was back. Oh, I've drifted off quite a ways. Alright, so that, that is for sure a stack of fish. <laughs> so we're going to put another mark there. That is definitely a wild fish. Let's see if we can get one of them. That's bottom. Look at that. That is insane. Just a school of them sitting there. A little bit of current. You drift off of it pretty quick. Buddy, burb season is on. It's like a lot earlier than I normally try. That's pretty sweet. It is November 7th. Ooh, that's a nice fish then, I guess, huh? Sometimes you eat a big one, they just stick to the bottom. 
Oh, that's a nice walleye. <laughs> Bonus. That's a seriously nice walleye. Look at that. <laughs> Score. <laughs> Three sixteen inch walleye. You know, I had a feeling that this 3D Gobi was going to be highly successful. Um, so much that I bought the mold for about uh, it was $90 for a custom mold because it's got a little jig rattle in there. And that, guys, is a quality walleye. And we'll be keeping that too. Alright. It's a pretty good start. We'll go with the burbot here and the walleye here so we don't forget. And we'll be back. Okay, dropping down. They're on the edge of the pile of fish there. They're close enough. Rocking the uh, 3D copper goby again. Two fish so far. Seems to be performing good enough. A little bit of crawdad scent on it. That looked like a hit. Yep. There's another one. Oh, look at that. I really like this rod. This is a uh, Ugly Stick 7.6 medium light. It's got a really, really soft tip and for jigging you can kind of almost feel that up bite when you're using a heavier lure like this. Oh, that's a nice burbot. Look at that. Get in on here. Yeah, I don't even bother that much. A little better one. Ain't too bad. He's got the tail end of that. See his Air bladder sticking out. Yeah. So, Savage Gear, Copper, Purple Flake, 3D Gobi. It's got a good action to it. And a nice little rattle there. Uh, custom made, of course. I think there's a guy that sells them on eBay. I got a couple from him, and I was like, I just gotta get my own. He's got some rubbing up there. What are you doing? He's got bopped on the head there, too, it looks like. Huh. Kinda weird. Was he spitting up? Looks like he's got a crawdad. What do you got in there? Spitting up something. It's a little baby crawdad. Little tiny, tiny baby crawdad. You see the, the eyes there? Yeah. About shrimp size. Okay, we're putting together a pretty quick little cooler of fish here. <laughs> oh, this feels good. Silver Castmaster with a worm. A little bit of crawdad scent. It takes forever to get down there. It's a half an ounce. This is a good fish. Holy cow, that is a huge burbot. Oh, it's like a five pounder. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, buddy. Look at that guy. That is a, probably my biggest burbot. Totally. Sweet. size of that burbot. You guys are on, right? Yeah, yeah, you're on. Look at the mouth on that guy. Oh. He's got that thing way down there. Problem with burbot, they don't ever let go of nothing. Change my mind. Hook wasn't even in there that good. Look at the size of that guy. Look at the head on him. I mean, here's 
This is my fist. Sweet. That's a big, big burbot. Super cool. Little colors on them. Super cool fish. I really like these. Probably one of my favorite fish. It's got two dark spots right here. Here. They're like light sensors or something. Cool. We'll put him in the box and try and get a couple more. That gives us three. Two more and then we can start looking for some walleye. But that didn't take that long. That was on a uh, silver jigging spoon. Right there. <clears throat> With a big old night crawler. And he smacked it. I mean, that didn't take long at all. We'll pop some gills. Bleed them out. We'll get back down there. Get a couple more. Sun's starting to come up. and Typically when that happens there... They're done for the day. They, uh, but we'll see. I just dwarfs the other couple in there. Look at that thing. Nice one. 